This video shows you how to build a dashboard for a virtual infrastructure administrator in the vCenter Operations Manager custom user interface. Although the custom user interface includes default dashboards, such as vCenter Operations Admin dashboard shown here, you will probably want to create your own custom dashboards to meet the needs of the various members of your organization. To begin the dashboard creation process, click the plus icon next to the last dashboard tab. The left pane of the Dashboard Editing window contains dashboard templates for standard dashboards. For example, the Alerts by Type template contains six pre-configured alerts widgets. To create a custom dashboard, click the Create Dashboard Using Widgets icon. Notice that the left pane changes to show all of the available widgets. To add a widget to the dashboard, drag it from the left pane to the right pane. Here I'm adding the VC Relationship widget to the dashboard. The VC Relationship widget provides performance and relationship data for objects in your virtual environment. Now I'm adding the Resources, Metric Selector, and Metric Graph widgets to the new dashboard, which can be used to select resources, metrics, and show metric graphs respectively. After you finish adding widgets to the dashboard, type a name for the dashboard in the tab name text box. If you want the new dashboard to be the default page when you log in, mark it as the default dashboard. If your dashboard contains several widgets, you will probably want to use the Select Layout drop-down menu to display the widgets in multiple columns. When you select a multi-column layout, you can adjust the column widths. Here I'm making the right column slightly wider than the left column. After you click OK, you can begin editing the new dashboard. By default, all of the widgets appear in the left column of the dashboard. You can change the layout by dragging widgets from one column to another. Here I'm moving the VC Relationship widget to the right column. You can expand a widget vertically by clicking the Expand Widget icon. Keep clicking the icon until the widget is the size that you want. Most widgets can provide information to or receive information from other widgets. These relationships are called widget interactions. To configure widget interactions, click Interactions on the Dashboard Tools bar. The Receiving Widget column on the Configure Widget Interactions window lists the widgets on the dashboard that can receive information from other widgets on the dashboard. For each receiving widget, you can select a widget that provides information from the Providing Widget column. Here I'm selecting the Resources widget as the Providing widget for the VC Relationship widget. Because I don't want to configure a widget interaction for the Resources widget, I'm leaving the Providing Widget selection as None. For the Metric Selector widget, I'm selecting the Resources widget as the Providing widget. For the Metric Graph widget, I'm selecting two Providing widgets, VC Relationship and Metric Selector. Selected Resources means the Providing widget provides resources. Selected Metrics means the Providing widget provides metrics. When you edit the receiving widget, you can select which resources or metrics to actually display. After you click OK, the widget interactions you configured take effect on the dashboard. For example, here I'm using the Resources widget to find a particular virtual machine. When I select a specific virtual machine in the Resources widget, the VC Relationship widget changes to show where the virtual machine participates in the virtual environment. Notice the virtual machine is highlighted in the VM section. The data stores section shows the data stores that are associated with the virtual machine. In the metric selector widget, I can expand data store to see the data store metrics for the virtual machine. A key performance indicator is set on the disk command latency metric. When I click the virtual machine in the VC relationship widget, some abnormal metrics and problematic KPIs appear in the metric graph widget. To see if one of these problematic KPIs is affecting the disk command latency metric, I can double-click the disk command latency metric in the metric selector widget, and it appears in the metric graph widget. For more information about creating dashboards and configuring widgets, go to pubs.vmware.com.